In this video, I will show you how to combine ECGS GPL Edition and Cake PHP. I will be using Cake PHP 2.5.6 stable and ECGS 5.0.1 the GPL Edition. Provide links in the description so you can simply click and download them. Um, now, I just want to know for the GPL Edition, please make sure this applies to your product or company, otherwise, you're going to need to purchase a license from Sentia. Now, I've extracted them both. Um, in this case, to my exam HC docs directory, exam is just a Windows Apache web server. Um, and I've also extracted the HCGS. Uh, now, what we're going to include is the catch all edition of the framework. So, that in this case, it, it's inside the build directory inside of HCGS. It's the EC all debug, as well as if we need to do packages, I'll show you how to do that shortly. Um, packages are extensions of Sencha uh, that they seem to not include. So in this case, uh, SOAP support, um, charts, AMF, um, area and locale. Area, sorry, charts in this case, uh, ec dash charts and Sencha charts will, will um, they are not the same package. Uh, they but they perform the same function. So you really want to have one or the other. That's just a side note. Um, I personally use them a lot. Okay, so um, to start with, I'm going to copy the ec-all-debug into my app, webroot, and JavaScript JS directory. Uh, as well as I'm going to choose the crisp theme. Um, now, uh, that's inside the build packages, EC theme crisp, build. Uh, now, you're going to want to copy the resources folder, as that's the most uh, clear cut version of it without uh, having to type in a lot more. Uh, I'm just going to rename it to EC theme crisp. And finally, inside my All right, finally inside my installation, um, I'm going to make it the main page of the framework. So as is my KQHP installation, this is the only thing that it does. Right now, this is the KPHP default home page. Um, it's going to show you more or less what you want to do in order to install it. For example, do you have a DB, DB connection and whatnot? Um, I'm going to presume that you've already done this. If not, you can go back to this afterwards. Uh, I'm going to rename it um, just so it doesn't go to that now. And now I'm going to add my own. Um, sorry, that was JavaScript. CTP, perfect. Okay. So just like anything else, uh, just one moment. We're gonna want, in this case, we're gonna want to set a dot type to HTML, implying HTML5. Um, if you're using the latest version of it, you're gonna pretty much, you're, you're using HTML5 to, to do this. So uh, there's no reason not to. Um, we'll start with the theme. Uh, in this case, my ID does not recognize my folders. I'm just going to say that uh, ahead of time. So don't worry about it saying that uh, the folder is not there. Um, ec themeless crisp. You can also choose a non minified version. It's up to you. Um, sorry, the non debug version, I mean, uh, like the minified. But uh, I prefer to use this version. Uh, just in case I need to make changes or whatnot. Um, and now you're pretty much done. Um, so I'm going to presume that you put your app inside app.js in your web root. Um, now I'll, I'll make another tutorial on that. Um, but for now, I'm done. Thanks for watching and good luck.